I am as prepared for this tag as I usually am. Basically, I have no idea what I'm gonna answer. So, let's get right to it. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Winnie Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today, I bring you a tag, and a tag that I'm very excited to do, and that is getting to know your sci-fi reader tag. Now, this tag was started, I believe, by Emily Fox, which, whose channel I'm sure you all know it, but I link up above. And she is, like me, a very prolific sci-fi reader and she took the questions from get to know the reader tag and reworked them so they work for sci-fi and that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna be answering those questions so strap in and let's get ready to jump into hyperspace question number one what is your sci-fi origin story how you came to read your first sci-fi novel now I think I have talked about this before but the first real novel that I read was Animorphs book one by K.A. Applegate and if you know anything about this it's about aliens invading earth and it's kind of like a very middle grade version of invasion of the body snappers is that what it's called? snatchers, snatchers not snappers then you have these other kids that meet this other alien that gives them the ability to turn into animals but they only have a certain amount of time where they can become these animals or they have to stay in that permanent form. It's really, I really love this series. It's over a hundred books and I own each and every one of those books and I have read each and every one of those books. This is the series that got me into reading that turned me into a reader. It was never, first of all, nothing against these series except that I was older when they came out, but it wasn't The Hunger Games, it wasn't Harry Potter. For me, it was Animorphs by K.A. Applegate. And I still, like, I would never reread them because I know that I'm gonna be disappointed <laughs> because, you know, I'm gonna not be able to look at them through rose-tinted glasses, but this is just basically the series that got it all started. And from then on, I just kept looking for that, you know, little extra something that I think sci-fi adds. Different worlds, different cultures, different ways of doing things, and I can still quote some of these books, okay? My memory is kind of crazy, but yeah. <laughs> That's how I became a science fiction reading reader, by reading the Animorphs books. And if you're wondering where they are, they are in my house, in my library, in Venezuela. Question number two. If you could be the hero or heroine in a sci-fi novel, who would be the author and what's one trope you'd insist be in the story? Ooh, <laughs> that's interesting. I would like, oh this is hard, because I'm between two authors. I would like maybe, because I've seen them both write this kind of stuff, so either N.K. Jemison or Becky Chambers. You know, one of those I would like uh, for them to write a book with me as a character in it. Or maybe Andy Weir, although his writing of women, um, questionable. But, um, and I would also like, uh, I like the whole alone in space, have to get back to earth somehow. Or found family, oh yes, fa found family. I would love to do like um, crew members, like a like a ragtag crew of different kinds of people getting together to do a mission that might at first like not get along and then just become family. Like basically, I'm describing the long way to a small angry planet, but I would like it to be like space isolation, like just isolated in space, like something happened in space isolation and just ragtag or like have to do a secret mission is it broke one kind of yeah something like that and I you know what I'm gonna go with Becky Chambers because I I've seen N.K. Jemison write stuff like this but I think Becky Chambers has literally already written <laughs> something like this so that's it I, I, and I would love to be like a pilot or something because um I don't know if you know about th this about me, but I can't drive. Not because of anything, but because in Spain, cars are manual and I can't ride manual worth crap, so I have to go relearn how to drive. And I just kind of want the freedom of being able to do that <laughs> in a spaceship. <laughs> okay, number three. What is a sci-fi you've read this year that you want more people to read? 
everything on the shelf, basically. Dune, oh, Solaris. I want more people to read Solaris. I just, ah, oh, I love Solaris. I, I, I love it so much. Obviously, Do You Dream of Terror 2 by Tammy O. Um, the Memory Please by Joko Ogawa. And Born by Jeff Vandermeer. Just read this whole shelf. All of it. What is your favorite subgenre of sci-fi? What subgenre have you read, have you not read much from? Alright, I can tell you what my, like, the genre that I don't like, and that is time travel. I don't like time travel. I just, my brain is too stupid for time travel, okay? Like, I don't get it. Uh, I like first contact with aliens and I really like space operas in any way like anything that is about space travel and I really like the subgenre of um, sci science fiction thrillers I really enjoy those so I guess that's my <laughs> really bad answer to that question but yeah definitely uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't read Blake Crouch because I feel he does a lot of alternate realities and time travel or at least I'm just thinking of recursion and I just feel that those books actually give me kind of anxiety I don't know that's weird but there you go who is one of your auto by sci-fi authors N.K. Jemison and Becky Chambers I love when A.K. Jemison goes full on sci-fi and if you want a taste of that this emergency skin by N.K. Jemison oof, oof girl <laughs> Mm -mm, love it and uh, Becky Chambers I just like feel-good sci-fi I think we don't have a lot of that and I wish we did but on the flip side I also think that um, I really enjoy I have it right here George R.R. R. Martin when he writes sci-fi I really have enjoyed it and I read Night Flyers by him and I'm getting through this little anthology so maybe I would say George R.R. R. Martin but other than that, um, I think I am not an author buyer. Like, authors don't bedazzle me when it comes to buying books. I think that Becky Chambers can come out with a book that I would not buy simply because I'm not interested in the story. I'm more of a story person than a author person oh and something i forgot in the in 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 the previous question which is the subgenre basically i like character focused sci-fi i don't like world focused sci-fi like i don't like big world stories i like small stories like that are even if if there is a big overarching thing i like it when it's focused on the characters and not the world I don't know if that makes any sense like for example the reason I like Dune but that I am not really continuing with the series is because after Dune we don't focus on characters as much as we focus on political stuff and like things like that I just am not a big fan of that I am a character driven writer reader so yeah that that's just a long-winded way of saying that I forgot to say that I don't like space operas when they're way too big like i know i have the foundation trilogy here and that's like one of the few exceptions where i really like the story like the big story more than the individual characters in it that makes any sense i don't know what i'm doing with my hands i'm kind of dancing in a rave number six how do you typically find sci-fi recommendations goodreads youtube's podcasts instagram um, I find them through YouTube. I follow a bunch of SFF readers and that's how I find them. I also basically, I go through Scribd and I hit science fiction and I just look for things that might spike my interest. I don't really use Goodreads for that kind of stuff. I know a lot of people do and that's also why I don't follow like new releases because I just never know when anything new is releasing. <laughs> really bad I never know when there's a new thing coming but uh, I usually use YouTube or I uh, again script or audible I usually use like the browse features on the on those 
platforms and figure out if there's anything that spikes my interest and that's how I go from there. That's how I actually found uh, Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Tammy O. So there you go. <laughs> Number seven, what's an upcoming sci-fi release you're excited for? The new book and the Wayfarer series, I can't remember the title. She always puts really long titles on her uh, books, but here's the cover. And I'm waiting to buy this cover because it matches all my other covers. These covers, and that is the UK edition, I think. So I'm waiting for that one. And that's, um, I'm, I, well, it's not, it's not an upcoming release. So I think it's already out. But I really want to read uh, Christopher Paolini's new book, new sci-fi book. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm really excited for that one. The sunlight is just giving me a hard time today, and I had to change the battery, so if things look a little bit different, that's why. Also, if I suddenly get like super blown out, the sun is like going in and out behind clouds, and I just can't keep putting the correct things on my camera, so I apologize profusely for the differences in this video. But anyway, Number eight, what is one misconception about sci-fi you would like to lay to rest? Now, I, Emily did have a really good one, which is that sci-fi is really hard to get into. I think sci-fi is really easy to get into, probably because I got into it so young. And I actually find fantasy harder to get into because they're big tomes, while sci-fi can be like really small tomes, like really small tomes, like really small books. And there are so many different subgenres of sci-fi. But that being said, since Emily already touched on that, what I would like to say is that I would like to lead to rest the fact that women in sci-fi are not all treated misogynistically by the authors. I feel that because of Princess Leia slave costume, we all think women are just there as arm candy and like the like the male's main love interest. It's just it's a weird thing, and I think. Um, just like any genre, we have a bit of everything. Of course, there's gonna be authors that fuck up and make us, sh you know, shit protagonist or shit um, main love interest. <clears throat> Pierce Brown. But um, I think that you would be surprised. There's plenty of sci fi where that's not the case. And I would invite you to lay to rest that idea and join us in the sci-fi community. Question number nine. If someone had never read sci-fi before and asked you to recommend the first three books that come to mind as places to start, what would these recommendations be? Hmm, that's an interesting one because I think it would depend on the person. Like, is if the person is used to fantasy, if they're used to contemporary or something. But I'm gonna go with my gut. And I would say, <laughs> oh gosh, I like to read really weird sci-fi. So um, the first one I would recommend would be The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I think this book just has almost universal appeal. So I think everyone would love that book. Um, I would also recommend Orion Lost by Alistair Kisholm. I think that this is a good for people that really like YA, I think that that's like a good intro to sci-fi. I'm, I'm not gonna recommend Born because I think that if you introduce somebody to sci-fi with Born, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? But I'm gonna recommend Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Tamiyo. I think that for people that like contemporary, that's a good like starter point. So I think that there's a little bit of everything for everyone there. And I've talked about all of these books before on my channel, so. I don't think that this is any surprise to any of you. <laughs> and the last question is, who is the most recent sci-fi reading content creator you came across that you'd like to shout out? I like to shout out just generally content creators and sci-fi readers. Uh, of course, you guys all know um, Thomas at SFF180. He does great reviews. He does, you know, he his content is just A+. Plus. I would also like to shout out Tori Morrow, who does incredible content. I would like to shout out Raj from Rajasan. He reads a lot of SFF in general, like fantasy science fiction. And um, I'd like to shout myself out because I read a lot of sci-fi. Even though this month it's not that much, but usually I read a lot of sci-fi. But come on, it's spooky month. I'm reading a lot of other things, so... Yeah, that's the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. The sun right now is like blasting through my windows. 
And when I started this, it was just like all gloomy and October-ish. So, without any further ado, I bid you adieu. And I remind you that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye-bye.